Welcome back guys. This is Building a Million One Day at a Time. So today I was really hoping to talk about something that's been going on for the last few months and it's kind of um, been brought to my attention some different feelings and thoughts about um, working and employment. And so I kind of dove in and I, I thought, you know, I want to ask a question. And the question is, what is a livable wage? Now, um, I've had a lot of people, you know, question about or have questions about, you know, is minimum wage, which is seven twenty-five, is that a livable wage? Um, and so I ran some numbers, and I figured if you're making seven twenty-five an hour, working forty hours a week, that is about nine hundred and six dollars. Okay, and nine hundred six dollars doesn't seem like a lot of money. But as I kind of looked at what people need, what's livable, um, that's the question that kind of opened up the whole discussion of, is it possible? Is it livable? And I I talked to uh, the guy on social media and he said, well, any job that's worth doing should pay a livable wage. And I'm like, okay. I, I get that, um, you know, if you're going to be working full time, yeah, it should be paying a livable wage. So is $906 livable? And so I started looking into where I live here locally in Utah and the average um, rent for a single person, so let's just say it's just one person, is about $484 a month. That was the average across Utah. Um, Obviously, some places are higher, some places are a little bit lower, um, but for the average, just under 500 bucks wasn't bad for a one bedroom place or a studio. Um, so I pulled up, and I'll show you here, um, I pulled up the living expense, or the rent across Utah for, um, it'll, it'll be a studio, one, two, and three bedroom places. Um, I can't remember, four bedrooms on there. And it shows that it gets it gets kind of expensive. Rent right now here in, in Cedar City, um, you almost can't find a place. I rent out the apartment that I showed you in the last video. Um, I rent those bedrooms, one bedroom, and it's a shared apartment complex for 600 bucks a month. So obviously the one bedroom there is a little higher than um, the average in Utah. However, I know out there that you can find a bedroom in a house, for, you know, in somebody's home, they're renting out a bedroom for about 400 bucks a month. So that's actually a lot less than the average. So it just varies. But to, to get to that point, rent at 484, the average person that's single spends about, I'm going to say 200 to 250. I'll show you some statistics here of uh, a family of three and what they would, they would eat. Um, and then the utilities, average in Utah. And again, this is for a household. This isn't for a single person, but about 350. So if you factored that in, that you were in a one bedroom place and it was just you living on 250 bucks a month and your utilities would probably be, I'm going to say they're going to be under the 350, but let's just say that it's 200 bucks a month. That puts you right around that $906 a month. So is that livable? I'm going to say yes, but let's look at it across the board. So if you're making $10 an hour, which I, I feel like is a more reasonable wage nowadays, you'd be making $12.34 a month after taxes. And again, I'll put that up here so you can see it. If you're making $12 an hour, that bumps you up to about $14.60 a month. If you're making $15 an hour, that bumps you up to $17.80 a month. And $18 is just over two grand, and $20 an hour is making about $2,300 a month. Okay, so I I'm like, okay, people are worried about making minimum wage. So I jumped on to Jobs um, to Careers uh, website and I looked up um, what basically our jobs paying. So if you look at here, this is again in Cedar City where I live, um, but jobs are 
fast food jobs are, are, are readily available right now. Everybody's looking for uh, um, uh, people to employ for fast food. And so when I looked at these Cafe Rio, they're starting you out at 10.50 an hour, okay? West Rock is a company that does uh, work, uh, labor work. They're paying 16.75 an hour. Um, scroll down through here. Um, a lot of jobs, a lot of places are looking for workers. A cashier at Cafe Rio, 13.50 an hour. Um, Costa Vida, 12 to 14 dollars an hour. So another Cafe Rio, 13.50. Here's one that I thought, thought thought was pretty interesting. Applebee's. They're, they're gonna pay you a $300 bonus just to get hired because they're looking for workers and they can't find any. And they're probably starting you at around 15 bucks an hour. Um, here's another one, $300 bonus. Flexible schedule, health insurance, paid time off. Um, another Costa Vita, 10 to $14 an hour. Papa John's delivery, $20 an hour. Server at Applebee's, oh, that, that, that's where I found the 15. $15 an hour is a $300 bonus. Um, $16.62 an hour, no experience necessary. Um, on a lot of these jobs, Walgreens, $14 to $28 an hour. That's 14 bucks to start, it's pretty insane. Um, a lot of these, no experience necessary, $10 an hour at Maverick. Um, let's see. Home watch caregivers, 14 to $17 an hour, $100 bonus to sign on, paid time off, health insurance. Um, most of these jobs, warehouse job, 18 to $36 an hour, $18 to start. Um, glacier recruiting, $16.74 an hour. Uh, another warehouse job starting at $23 an hour. Uh, Maverick, $10 an hour. Another warehouse job starting at 18 to 36 an hour. So as you can see, um, a lot of these jobs are paying great money to start. So the average job there was just around $15 an hour. So when we look at that, $15 an hour is paying you about $17.80 a month, okay? Again, is that a livable wage? Well, if you go off of what rent is or a mortgage and you go off of what it costs to have to buy food and utilities, which are the basic necessities, which I would say is livable, you can live off of the wages right now. That's basic. It's a basic understanding of math, right? We did the math there. You can live. Now, are you living your best life? Absolutely not. You're not going out and partying and, and buying a new car and toys and going on vacations. No, but you can live. And that's the question that was posed. What is a livable wage? Well, technically you could live on minimum wage. It would suck. It wouldn't be fun. I don't want to do it. But that's also why I worked really hard and, and, and saved my money and put it into other investments and grew that because I, to be honest, I haven't lived a great life my whole life. I haven't been out enjoying life to the fullest. Now I do go on vacations here and there and I do buy, I, I have a nice truck now, but 10 years ago when I was in college, I wasn't complaining about 7.25 an hour. Matter of fact, I wasn't complaining. I was just happy to have a job, which I think some people still are, but a lot of people are saying, hey, I don't want to come back to work. <laughs> Which brings me to the topic of job employment. So in July, we had over 950,000 jobs filled in that month, according to the job report. In August and September, it dropped drastically. September was just over 250,000. And last month of September, there was only 194,000 jobs filled, which was the worst since COVID started, I, I believe. Um, and so that's pretty crazy. Nobody wants to go to work. Everybody's complaining. Of, well, let me back up. A lot of people don't want to go to work. People, those people are complaining that they're not getting paid a livable wage, but that's because they've been, they've been getting from the government over $800 a week at unemployment. So yeah, if I can make $800 a week, 
in unemployment versus the $900 a month on minimum wage, I would say it's not a livable wage too. I would complain, but guess what? It is livable. It's just not what you've been living on the last year to year and a half with COVID. And to be honest, people can't expect to be getting paid more than $15 an hour with zero education. High school kids are making 15 bucks an hour with without even graduating high school. And yet we have people in, you know, teachers, teachers start out making like 20 bucks an hour and they've got a bachelor's degree. And so that's the hard thing is they're saying, okay, minimum wage isn't enough. Well, it is enough. And nobody's out of all those jobs we looked at, not one person was getting paid less than $10 an hour, not one. And so when you look at that, $10 an hour basically is becoming minimum wage, even though this, the federal government saying that 725 still, but making over 1200 bucks a month at minimum at $10 an hour, that's definitely livable. And people just need to say, hey, we need to pull up our bootstraps and get to work and work and progress and get better paying jobs over time. That's what everybody in the past has had to do. Entitlement to say, I deserve 20, 18 to 20 bucks an hour now with no education is what's gonna cause our economy to collapse. Because if they raise minimum wage to 15 to 20 bucks an hour, an hour like they wanted to at 15, that's gonna put a lot of businesses out of business. And because they can't afford to hire labor and pay them that. And the thing is, is most people don't understand if minimum wage goes to 15 bucks an hour, your basic jobs that are paying 20 to $30 an hour have to be increased as well. And so you have teachers getting paid now 30 bucks an hour to start, which I'm not complaining about, but it hurts the economy overall. And if you think inflation's bad now, wait till jobs get increased their pay. You're gonna be having inflation for food, you're gonna have inflation for vehicles, you're gonna have inflation for homes, way more than they already have happened. So can you live on minimum wage? Absolutely. Should you? That's up to you. Keep looking for those jobs, guys. Keep working. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below. Um, I put out new videos, try to every Friday. This one's gonna come out on Monday. Um, but this is building a million one day at a time. We'll catch you next time.